What's up, San Antonio? I am DJ Mighty Iris, and you're watching Wrong Side of the Tracks, a friendly little spot for your local music to frolic and play and be awesome. So today in the studio, we have Dawn of the Phoenix. Woo! What's up? Yeah. Okay, so I know you, John Brown. You're John Brown. Um, and I've met these two before at your first show, but since I can't remember names that well, I'm just going to assume that everyone is named John in this that group. Am I, am I right about that? that? Then yeah. damn, I'm good. All right. <laughs> so introduce yourself. So, Go ahead. Uh, John or Susie. I play bass. Why Susie? Uh, it was a joke when I was like 15. It's the first name that came out of my mouth. And I and I pretty much just stuck with it since then. He meant then. the first man to come in his mouth. Oh <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was Susie, a joke, huh? That's hot. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a joke. It's how it happened, Gross. and it just stuck. <laughs> yeah, come taste horrible. <laughs> what about you? I agree. I'm Johnny P. All right, very cool, very cool. And uh, you're Don of the Phoenix. So, tell us about your sound. Um. Well, I guess you could. Uh, you could. Uh, it's a little mix between electronica, dance, rock, goth, industrial. It's basically a smorgasbord of music and all squished into one band. And how long have you guys known each other? I've known him since he was a kid. Like 14, so 11 years. Yeah, Very I've cool. known three him years. three years. Okay, how did you meet him? He uh, played in a band uh, called Heartsdale. Oh, okay. He yeah, I've heard of that band. <laughs> Very I ran cool. into him outside a guitar center randomly one day. I had never <laughs> seen them before, and then I met him. And that was it. And he fell in love with me. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. And um, how, how long? <laughs> how long has Don of the Phoenix been together? When did you guys form well, your band? Well, we formed the. I've been working on Don of the Phoenix in the studio for about a year. Okay. Um, and then we've been uh, playing since December of last year. Okay. So yes. we've only played five shows so far, um, but those five shows have been pretty awesome. And already you've gotten to play with your... Idol. Yes. Peter Murphy. Peter Murphy. Yeah. That's very cool. It was very cool. It was just you opening for Peter Murphy? No, it was supposed to be. That's okay. what Peter wanted, but um, they put on a bunch of other bands, and uh, some bands bought onto the show, mm -hmm. and you can't help that. You know, when a band buys onto a tour, the tour manager says, sure, I'll take your money. <laughs> was he cool with you guys? Oh, he was awesome. Yeah? Yeah, he was great. I hung out with him three hours after the show in his hotel room talking and just being in awe. Very cool. <laughs> you know? And you great. just had a show with uh, Murder FM, right? Were those guys cool? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were awesome. That's um, very cool. The, uh, the bassist, JR, he's been a good friend for, God, I don't know how long, since 2000 when he used to play with Cycle Plate. Oh, okay. And uh, we used to play a lot of shows with my previous band, and that was... Um, you know, really, it's good to see him again because it's been forever since I actually got to hang out with him. You were in, uh, a lot of people from San Antonio remember that Emily's Gone Mad, right? right. How long were you guys together? About uh, 12 years. Okay, very cool. And you just wanted to do something different. This, yeah. Emily's Gone Mad was a like a rock band, right? It was a death rock band. Okay. Yeah. So you wanted to go more electronic? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. break it down to a very simplistic trio, you know, mm -hmm. see what we could do and it's pretty fun. Actually. So what's it like being a, I was going to ask you this, what a... What, what is the difference, do you think, between a singer and a performer? Oh, yes. well, anybody can sing, and that's a fact. Um, people usually are scared to sing, so that's why they usually sing bad. Mm -hmm. But a performer puts their whole heart and soul into being on stage, and everybody can feel it that's in front of them. And their one job is to make the person that's not getting off, get off. You ever seen Almost Famous? No, I never saw it. Okay, well. That's where I got that line because, what's his name? You remember that movie? Anybody? Yeah. Sort of. Sort of? No? Yeah. Y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> that good. Oh, God. I hate you guys. I have not seen Almost Famous, but have you ever seen that movie Titanic? Uh, I would imagine like it's like, you know, that part where she's like, hey, Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls wearing this. Sure. Do you get that when you're on stage? That, yeah. That's how, probably how I would feel, yeah. I think, if I was yeah, performing on stage. Yeah. Do you guys feel like you become someone else when you're performing live is just like a big old adrenaline rush? It's Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Very cool. Well, I think it's more of like your amplified self. Yeah. You know, it's you times 10, you know, because you don't really change when you go on stage. Most people think that you put on a mask and this is you or this is me performing. No, it's just John Brown amplified, you know, because I'm 
just the same person I am on or off stage. There's no real difference. Yeah, well, when so I was at your first show, you guys were really cool with the crowd. I love bands that are, you know, that talk to the crowd that are very fun, you yeah. know, fun bands. Yeah. So, um, how many albums do you guys have right now? Well, we have lots of songs. Okay. Lots of songs, but no album yet. We're still working on it. We're okay. taking all the songs and we're well finishing in one and two. We are. Um, we're gonna go through. We have about 27 songs. Okay. And we're gonna go through all of them and decide which ones are the best that fit the concept of the album, which is predominantly about love and everything that that entails. Okay. And hate, you know, love lost, anything that has to do with love. Did it take you a while to, to come up with the like lyrics for a song? Well, funny thing is, is I'll write I'll write poems, you know, months months back, and then I'll write a, a, a composition, and uh, somewhere along the lines, the music turns, the the, the mer music and the lyrics just kind of boom fall mm -hmm. into place. I very rarely, if ever, write a um, write a song or write lyrics to a song that I've already established. It, it's usually, the lyrics will be right here, and here will be the music, and all of a sudden, like, magic will come together, and it'll be out of a clear blue sky, and then it'll boom, boom, there's a song. Pretty much every song that, that we have on SoundCloud and Reverb Nation, we have had, um, that has been, you know, just magic. Yeah. Where the lyrics will come to the song like that. I feel bad, because I only have that one song that uh, I... Love, Phil. Yes, and I play it a lot at Oak Hills Tavern on Friday nights. So, I even played it last night. Cool. We're all at Oak Hills Tavern. Well, you weren't, but, you know. <laughs> we were all at the tavern her. last night. I have to be honest. I'm hungover today, and I feel really bad about that. I may throw up during this interview, so... Yeah, and just spew, spew yeah, it is. right. <laughs> it is it is big enough yeah. for my vomit. So, um, okay. So, um, shoot, I just forgot what I was gonna ask you. Oh, I was gonna. I had a question for them actually. Better. You guys, yeah, better. Better. yeah you, you other Johns. What's it like to to work with this guy? He's like a puppy. Is he? He has a big bark, but he's, <laughs> he's real sweet. Very. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like getting hit in the head with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I like pain, so. Very cool. Fine, you know? I can tell you have a lot of piercings on your face. Yes, yeah, sexy. Yeah. yeah it's, pretty hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot. I had a piercing once. I had to take it out. Story of my life. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna take a, a question. Someone wrote in a question for you guys. So. Oh really? Yeah. That's interesting. So Jason Dean <clears throat> um, from Westerberg High School writes, why can't I go anywhere without hearing the name John Brown? Please help Jason. I, I kind of sympathize with you, Jason, because I, I'm going through that right now. It's like everyone in this freaking city knows the name John Brown. Just talk about that for a second. It's nuts. Like, oh, hey, yeah. my cousin worked at Guitar Center with John Brown. It's like Kevin Bacon. Yeah, six yeah. degrees of separation. <laughs> yes, it is. And it's nuts that it, everyone it, knows who you are in this town. It's because I've got a big mouth. Okay. And I like to talk. Yeah. And I had to get through Gap. And I'm awesome. No, I'm just like, I'm not I like you can fit a lot in that big mouth mm -hmm. of yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how I make most of my money. Yeah. Like, very cool. Very cool. Time. All right, and I have another question straight from my loins. All wow. right, nice and warm. Very awesome. <laughs> All right, so if you guys can tell me the hit that this movie band had, if you can't tell me the name of the song, mm -hmm. I get to come up with the title for your next track. Uh, that's the Pumped Up Kicks, right? No. No, that's what I thought it was. I know that name though. Big Fun. I just can't think. Big Fun. Think. One moment. No, 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 oh, no, no. God. You're not allowed to you use your phone. You didn't say I couldn't. Oh. No, no. Uh, you're right. I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. But uh, right. if you right. can't tell me, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the answer is this shirt is from Heather's. Uh, oh, yes. Big Fun. They had that hit, Teenage Suicide, Don't Do It. Yeah. So. Yes, I get to name your next track, which is going to be awesome. Cool. I'm going to make it so good. <laughs> oh my god. Do you already have a name? Combosm. Combosm? Yeah. Because it's thoughtful and practical. Wow. All right, so Stop tell... <laughs> that was, that's like that. Right yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been brainstorming this for the past couple of hours. So. <laughs> That's what I do when I'm hungover. Very nice. Um, okay, so uh, any last thoughts? Tell everyone how to how to hear your music. Like I said, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation. Just search for Donna the Phoenix. Um, and uh, let's see what else. If you poke him, he'll sing. <laughs> he'll true. sing. Oh, I would love to hear that. No. Nope. <laughs> Come on. No. Nope. Okay, I'll start off. I get paid to sing. Oh. 
I only have like 50 cents on me, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's gonna get a, like an awe. Shit. <laughs> Okay, I, I got, I got it. Just, just finish the, just finish the line. And isn't it ironic? Oh God! <laughs> Don't you think? A little too ironic. I can't remember the next line. I think it's yeah. I really do think. Oh, that's yeah, okay. right. Yeah. See, <laughs> Damn, I stumped you twice. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> All right. Okay. A, you got me for Heather's, which is like 1982, and yeah. B, you got me Alanis Morissette, which is 1991. So, I mean, is it 91? I used to write her fan letters. I love you a lot. She's Canadian. <laughs> yeah, she is. Yeah. I love Canadians. Who likes Canadians? That and Jason Dean is from the movie Heather's. So oh, really? No one really wrote that question, and I was fucking with you. Wow. Man. You've, cool been, you've been Ramirez. That's what I'm calling it now. Because really? my last name is Ramirez. No, wait, no. Yeah. No, no you I don't. Know. <laughs> I know. All right, they so SoundCloud, know. and uh, yeah, like them on Facebook, Donna the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, we're looking forward to hearing your new album. Yeah, it'll be out uh, sometime this year. I'm not going to say exactly when because I don't want to jinx it, but we're putting a lot of effort into it. We've got a lot of uh, interesting people that are putting their, their two cents into it as well. Um, for a solo project for me, I actually, it's become very collaborative, which is really amazing. Because um, really, I, I started writing and then all of a sudden I started asking people, hey, do I, what do you think of this? And, you know, uh, Richard Evans from Guild mm -hmm. has come in and helped me out a lot on it. And uh, so has Frankie from Guild. And, um, I saw Gannon. Frankie play too. You guys are so talented. It's nuts. I, I really like that Will Not Fail Thank song. You. It sounds a lot like, um, it's it's very industrial. Is Trent Reznor one of your, uh, do you guys like Nine Inch Nails? Oh, I, yeah, of course. Yeah. I definitely do. Okay, I, definitely I can do. hear it and I like it though. Yeah. But it's good. Thank it's you. good stuff. So I'm a fan. I can't wait to hear the rest of your stuff. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Like them on Facebook. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Thank you for watching.